Hello everyone, only Draven here again, and today we're doing another tutorial in Minecraft Sky Factory 3. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to use the solder, um, which is a um, basic and yet important part of the refined storage mod. Um, and so we're going to kind of just show you how to build one and use one of those. Um, so. For anything in the refined storage mod, pretty much you're going to need an RF power source. And for today, we're going to be using an extreme reactor from the extreme reactors mod. Uh, if you're not sure with how to build one of those, I do have a tutorial for that on my channel, and I will link it at the end of this video in the end card. Um, but I've already got down a furnace. You can use just a basic furnace. I've got a Supremium one down just to speed it up a little bit. And you're also going to need a controller, which is the very first part of the refined storage mod. So we're going to step over to that first. Look at that. So first we need our controller. And the controller is four pieces of quartz enriched iron, three pieces of silicon, a diamond, and one machine casing. That's going to give us our controller. Next we need the solder itself, which is six pieces of enriched iron and two sticky pistons. Okay. So the controller itself needs an RF power source. Okay, The solder can't really run power directly into it, but putting the solder next to the controller will give it power source and the ability to basically start working. Um, easiest way to do that. There are different setups. But um, this is kind of how we get started off. So a solder has three input slots. Um, and for majority of things, you're going to have redstone in the middle. Uh, for most of the recipes, redstone start that off. But for the top and bottom parts, there are different things we're going to use. So you're going to need printed silicone. That's going to be the basics for a lot of what we're going to put together. You're also going to need basic, improved, and advanced processors. So to get printed silicone, you just put silicone in a furnace. And it will cook into printed silicone. An iron ingot in a furnace will cook into a printed basic processor. A gold ingot in a furnace will, will uh, cook into a printed improved processor. And a piece of diamond in a furnace will cook into a printed advanced processor. All right. So we're going to go over there and we're going to get a couple of those. So let's go ahead and we'll put get ourselves a couple of printed silicone, get ourselves there's a printed basic. There is a printed improved and a printed advanced. So we go over, we put our printed silicone in the bottom. We'll start by putting basic atop. So again, a piece of iron became our basic printed processor. And that is going to cook very slowly. <laughs> into a basic processor. So doing that with the improved and the advanced, we'll do the same things. Except give us a little bit better quality each time. So there's an improved. So you see we have a basic processor, an improved processor. And of course, this piece of diamond will give us an advanced processor. Now, of course, by just doing a search for refined storage, you will get all the different recipes as well as each of the ones we're discussing today, as you can see right here on the right-hand side. And that gives us three. The other two is a construction core and a destruction core. Now, those two are also going to be needed for a lot of the refined storage mods. So, in a regular crafting table, you're going to take a basic processor, which we just made, and add it to a piece of glowstone dust. That's going to give you a construction core. And then a basic processor, again, with a piece of nether quartz, will give you a destruction core. So with the three processors, the construction core and the destruction core, you have the ability to make the vast majority of things you're going to need to make. So for example, grids, crafting grids, things of that nature. There are different things that you can make storage 
for all the different storage uses, the network receivers. So all of these components are going to need the different processors and the cores that we just looked at. So that's the solder gives you a lot of the basic building blocks of refined storage. It's really simple to use and you can put a stack of materials in there and it'll just build you up a stack of the different processors. Very easy to get that farming once you have the basic materials down. But that is all of the basic steps needed for that. So again, that's how to use a solderer to get started. If you have any questions about this mod or any suggestions, please feel free to throw them down in the um, comments section of this video. Or if you have any suggestions or recommendations uh, for other tutorials that you'd like to see, feel free to put them in there as well. If you liked the video or found it helpful, please click like on there and uh, be sure to subscribe to my channel uh, for all my different videos and content tutorials as I put them out. But thank you very much again for watching, everybody. Have a great day.